Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be in the antibiotic section of Memory Farm's Top 200 Drugs Made Easy Coloring Book, going over the class of tetracyclines. So if you're ready, then grab your crayons and let's color and learn. Tetracyclines are a large class of antibiotics that go back to the 1940s. These drugs contain a 4-hydrocarbon ring derivative, hence why the prefix name is tetra, meaning 4. The visual anchor for this class of medications is the Tetris puzzle game using shapes made out of blocks. You can see how this first Tetris block is shaped like a T and has 4 blocks in it to remind you of this class and its chemical makeup. The drugs in this class all end in the suffix cyclin, such as tetracycline, doxycycline, tigacycline, and amatocycline. Fun quiz. If you've ever played the emoji game, you'll probably see the drugs in this class used a lot. Can you guess some of them? How many did you get right? All right, moving on. These antibiotics are considered broad spectrum, meaning they can be used to treat a lot of different types of bacterial infections, including gram-positive bacteria, including MRSA, some gram-negative bacteria, atypical organisms, and unique pathogens. So you can probably see why it's indicated in a wide variety of bacterial infections, including pneumonia, bronchitis, Rocky Mountain fever, Lyme disease, and sexually transmitted diseases. Again, this takes time and practice, so don't feel overwhelmed if you aren't able to commit the coverage in its indications to heart. Okay, moving on to the mechanism of action. Tetracyclines penetrate bacterial cells and inhibit bacterial growth by interfering with protein synthesis through blocking the 30S ribosomal subunit. This leads to inhibition of the chain elongation step of protein synthesis and interferes with the normal growth cycle of the bacteria. Tetracycline antibiotics exhibit bacterial static activity. For side effects, let's use our visual anchor Tetris to help us remember the mnemonic. I'm having a blast playing Tetris. B is for bone defects in the fetus, so make sure to avoid using this class of antibiotics in pregnancy. L is for liver damage, which is rare. A is for abdominal discomfort common to most antibiotics including nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. S is for sun sensitivity and or skin rash. T is for teeth discoloration since tetracyclines bond to calcium ions as the teeth are developing leading to grayish yellow teeth discoloration. Because of this, make sure to avoid giving tetracyclines in infants or children 8 years and younger. Alright, some important counseling points to keep in mind. You want to take tetracycline antibiotics on an empty stomach with plenty of water to reduce the risk of esophageal irritation. Do not consume milk products and iron supplements at least two hours after the dose as it can bind to tetracycline antibiotics and decrease the drug's absorption. Advise your patients to wear sunscreen and protective clothing to decrease the risk of what side effect? Yes, that's right, sun sensitivity. Finally, as with other antibiotics, educate your patients to complete the full course of therapy as prescribed even if symptoms resolve. How are we feeling? Are you guys still with me? All right, it's time for a quick review to move this information from your short-term memory to your long-term memory. When you think of tetracyclines, use the visual anchor of the Tetris game since it sounds similar to the beginning of the class name Tetracycline. Using this color guide, let's color in the blocks in yellow and the rest of the numbers in their corresponding colors to help us decode which ribosomal subunit tetracycline antibiotics inhibit. Voila! It looks like this class of tetracyclines inhibit bacterial protein synthesis by blocking the 30S ribosome. As you can see, the 3 is in red in the bottom of this 50S slash 30S ribosomal subunit.
Like with all antibiotics, treating bacterial infections can lead to some collateral damage. The Tetris pieces were trying to blast the bacteria away, helping us to remember the side effects of... B is for what again? Yes, a bone defects in the fetus since tetracycline binds to calcium and that incorporates into the bone, so make sure to avoid this class in patients who are pregnant. L is for liver damage, a rare but significant side effect. A is for abdominal discomfort such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. S is for sun sensitivity and skin rash, so make sure to remind your patients to wear sunscreen and or protective clothing. T is for what again? You got it. T stands for teeth discoloration, so let's color in this teeth in yellow. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you found this helpful, click that subscribe button for more. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you're interested in getting more information from our Top 200 Drugs Made Easy Coloring Book, I will leave a link to the product below in the description and I will see you in the next video.